Hi, my name is Ron Wilson with Cat Paving Products Training Team. Today we're going to talk about the maintenance intervals on the AP1055F asphalt paver. This will only cover the asphalt paver, it does not include the screen. Now we're going to move on to the 250 hour service checks. The first one we're going to go to is the engine drive belt. Okay, we're going to inspect it adjust it or replace it. So come in here and inspect your drive belt for cracks, nicks, looseness, right? whatever you need to do. If it seems like it's been slipping any, right, then replace if necessary. On a 250 hour service it's also recommended that we take an engine oil sample. So warm your engine up to normal operating temperature Come over to your scheduled oil sampling port here and obtain your oil sample. On a 250 hour service, it also requires you to come in and clean your cooling package. So we lift the hood, we access our fans. We want to take the, uh, loosen the bolts up to the stops on the bolts, right? And then maneuver the finger guard out of the way remove it and then use compressed air to go down and clean the radiator All right after we clean the radiator here we'll replace the finger guard then we'll move up to the top of the machine into our air to air after cooler box and moving to the top deck of the machine we'll take a look at our air to air after coolers Drop the front panel on the machine and that gives you access to your air to air after cooler compartment. Come in here, inspect, get all the debris out of here. All right. If need be, take compressed air, blow everything out of the cooler cores. Every 250 hour service, you need to come in and check your conveyor drive chains. Check the deflection. Right, the deflection should be three quarters inch. Right, if they require adjustment, loosen the three mounting bolts and then turn the adjustment screw up or down until you get the proper tension. All right, also on the 250 hours, it requires you to come in and check the oil in your planetary. Okay, so just remove this plug you have oil coming out, your oil level is good. Every 250 hour service, you also need to come in and check the auger drive chains. To do that, simply reach in, grab the auger, rotate the auger one way or the other. Right, the auger should rotate somewhere in the neighborhood of half to three quarters of an inch. If it's not set correctly, go in and make your adjustments, loosen the four mounting bolts, and then use the jack bolt to move it up or down to get it the proper adjustment. Also, while you're doing this, you can come in and check the oil level in your auger drive planetary. All right, the oil level plug is located right here. So just pull the plug, check for oil to come out. If it does, then it's full, put the plug back in. Every 250 hours also requires you to check the tension of your drag chains, All right? Using the mainframe as a reference, the drag chain should be about a half inch above the mainframe, All right? You have a support right in the back there and between the support and the foot shaft here, you should have a little bit of droop in the chain, but it should not protrude below the mainframe. It should be approximately a half inch above the mainframe. If it's not, then you need to adjust the drag conveyor. If adjustments required of your drag chains, remove the retaining rod between the two adjusters. All right, and then take a 26 millimeter wrench or socket and put on each adjuster, adjusting them equally right, to tighten the drag chain or to loosen the drag chain, whichever you need. 
every 250 hour service, it's also recommended that we take an oil sample from our dry planetaries. Okay, so line up your planetary, the plugs on the planetary to nine o'clock and three o'clock, right, and select one or the other, right, remove it and draw your oil sample out of there. Also, every 250 hours, you're required to come in and lubricate your front idlers. Okay, your front idlers have a lubrication point on both sides, one on the inside, one on the outside. 250 hour service also requires you to come in and inspect your tracks. Inspect your tracks all along, both the inside and outside. Look at your guide blocks. Make sure there's none of your guide blocks are missing. Right, look for cracks, look for tears, look for any exposed cable. Right, if you have any cable sticking out and it's frayed, make sure you cut that off before you operate for the day. All right, go along, check all of your track to make sure it's in good shape. Next on the 250 hour service, we wanna check the track tension. All right, make sure the track is not sagging too much. It is a closed system and it is a friction drive. Okay, so you wanna check for any looseness in that track. If it's too loose, then adjust it. Remember, always refer to the operation and maintenance manual for the proper procedures when doing your hourly checks.